The reason many families break up is because of the absence of forbearance. Somebody uses the toothpaste and he doesn't close it well or he leaves some of the paste on the cover and the next one comes and says, where did you grow up? Don't they use toothpaste in your village? Even if a goat used toothpaste, will it be like this? You have not done marriage counseling. You will hear things. Even if a goat uses toothpaste, will it be like this? Then the other, what? Are you calling me a goat? I did call you a goat. But what? how do you explain this? Ah! And before you know, goo, 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 marriage has scattered. You'll find out what happened. He said toothpaste. You now say, ah, ah. Are you having problem because of toothpaste? <laughs> it's not toothpaste. It's absence of forbearance. There's no forbearance. You come to the room, ties in the parlor, suit is on the dining, <laughs> shoe is in front of the door, <laughs> and then the wife is coming in. Why would this man drop his tie here? Is this where he took it from? As she carries the tie, she's trying to calm herself down. She will now see suit falling kind of thing is this and then she's entering the room to go and quarrel the shoe at the door now cause her to stumble the moment she enters the room <laughs> are you okay when will you change i'm tired <laughs> listen listen if you study galatians 5 22 you will notice something he said the fruit of the spirit is He's not telling you that it's not there. It's already in your spirit. It's your duty to cultivate it. You already have patience. You already have kindness. You already have forbearance. But it's your responsibility to cultivate it. That's why he called it the fruit of the spirit. The moment you receive Christ, those things were planted in your spirit. And so one thing you do to help yourself is to tell yourself, I refuse to be bitter. I choose to walk in love. I choose to forbear if you begin to reprogram and re-educate your spirit after a while you will discover that these things will begin to flow because if there is no forbearance there can be no love people are not living happily together because there are no issues that should raise offense but they have learned how to forbear and because they've learned how to forbear they know how to carry the yokes of one another until they collectively walk into perfection the Bible said in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25, it said that thou mightest cleanse her by washing with water by the word of God. That means God expects that you should perfect your wife. And the same thing applies to the woman to perfect you. But before you are able to perfect your wife or your wife perfects you, the garbage she came with or the garbage you came with, you will first of all carry it for a season. It's as you are carrying it that you'll be removing it one at a time. And the way to carry it is true forbearance if there's no forbearance there can be no love that's what i tell people it's not a feeling it's not a feeling even goats have feeling these are the true dimensions of love our generation is too intolerant and when i say intolerant i'm not talking about the one gay people do <laughs> it's not a gay tolerance that i'm defining here because that one is against the will of god all we are saying here is within the context of the will of god before a gay person hears me and say this is the true man of god we said it that intolerant christians are intolerant that's not what i'm saying i am intolerant towards gay it's an abomination hallelujah are you learning something 